As we move next here tonight to student loan payments that are set to return in January, not to mention millions of Americans are set to lose unemployment benefits and eviction protections as well. So where is Congress and is there a possibility that anything will be extended between now and then? Our Joe St. George in Washington to explain. Where is Congress, you ask? Well, not here in D.C. In fact, your member of Congress is not expected to be here much at all between now and the end of the year, making it that much more difficult to pass any legislation to help your business or your family. The House and Senate are not expected to be in session next week because of the Thanksgiving holiday. The House and Senate are expected to be out of town the week of Christmas and the week of New Year's as well. That leaves Congress just 15 business days to try and pass something something or your bills could be going up. On December 11th, the government could shut down, although both parties are working on a deal to keep it open. The more important deadline is December 31st. That's when eviction, student loan, and unemployment protections expire. For perspective, 40 million Americans have federal student loans. Payments have been suspended since March, but that expires December 31st. Meanwhile, evictions can resume January 1st. A CDC moratorium is set to expire then, but Congress could act. Over 3 million Americans are evicted on an average year, but that number could be in the tens of millions this year. Also, unemployment insurance for independent contractors and the self-employed expires December 31st, as does 13 bonus weeks of unemployment benefits for those laid off in the last few months. Now, President-elect Biden is looking at executive orders to try and extend some of these programs, especially the student loan deferment program, but he doesn't take office until January 20th, and the bill could be due before then. As far as Congress goes, well, Republicans and Democrats remain far apart on a potential deal. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.